Welcome back. We devote all tonight's show to presidential candidate Herman Cain. Now, you say you want less government, yes. limited government. Yippee, I like hearing that. But you also want government to do things like ban abortions, gay marriage, have stricter immigration controls, and more. And that makes you a hypocrite, says this man, liberal columnist Ellis Hennigan. So he's a hypocrite? Well, yeah, a little bit. I mean, I'm moved by some of the eloquence that Herman's able to express on getting government out of our lives and getting those tax rates down to zero. All, all that stuff sounds great. But I'm hoping tonight, guys, that I'm going to be able to convince Herman to come over to my way of thinking of open-mindedness on some of these other issues. I mean, let's, why don't we start with the drug war, for instance, right? We know that this nation has had a huge failure in this war on some drugs. Drugs are more available. They're, uh, we can't do anything really to stop them. Shouldn't the government get out of that and let adults make their own decisions about what we put into our own bodies? Come with me on that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. Come on. Here's why. Okay. There are unintended consequences if you open up illegal drugs simply because you can't fix the problem. Let's talk about how we fix the problem. First, get serious about restricting the, the amount of illegal drugs coming into this country. That's where you start. It's been a total failure. We've it been doing has. that for 40 years, but, and there's more of it than this ever. But been. Ellis, Shouldn't John get to decide whether he wants to get high? He already does. <laughs> so why does he need a new law to decide if he wants to get high? Because, because I'm we, simply saying I, I refuse to accept defeat by simply legalizing it. Okay. I don't think that is the right okay. way to do it. Now, let's go back to the fundamental language of the Declaration of Independence. Life liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. When you try to distort the intent, in my opinion, and the opinion of a lot of other people, that's when you get in trouble. Okay, and I, are I, you saying that legalizing drugs allows people to what, pursue happiness? Here's what I am saying. I am saying that you... Yes. I am saying that you have no idea what every one of those millions and millions of Americans, how they want to judge those decisions. If they want to be involved in a, in a gay relationship, if they want to use, smoke a marijuana cigarette, if they want to patronize a, 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 a woman of the evening, why should Herman Cain or Ellis Hennigan or John Stossel know better than they do? Don't you want to be consistent to the point of saying, I trust Americans, I trust mature and responsible people to make these judgments for themselves?